All right. So, uh, what about whatever happened to that? Whatever hap whatever happened to that four thirty wake up call you were going to give me to go? Yeah. Fishing? What do you mean with four thirty wake up call? Who who decided on that? You were supposed to come over here with the weather report. No, 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 no. We are in the bar, remember? Oh my, I forgot. Yeah, we were talking with all our friends and eating the peanuts with the two two friends that we have. The two friends. Yeah, Alan and we were Sal. yeah tipping beer and stuff like that, and we're talking about that four thirty uh, business. You know what I mean? Like uh, four thirty, man. Book you know what were you doing at four thirty? I was at four thirty. The sun's not even up in July. You know, well, maybe it's up in July, but it's not up in uh, October. That's true. If it was October, how yeah. thick is the ice out there? Yeah, it's definitely not up in December either. Not up in this December. No. Nah, what do you think, 8 to 12 inches now? Yeah, but man, about the 430 thing, 8 to 12 inches what? 12 inches of ice out there on the field. Uh, yeah, by field, you mean uh, Brant Lake. That's right. Brant Lake, yeah, man. Yeah, you'd have to shovel up, you know, you'd have to shovel 12 inches of snow off and set up your hut and... That's right. You told me you got that new shovel down at the, uh, down at the Lowe's the other day. This tradition needs rethinking. You know what I'm saying? I sure do. Oh, what about man. a Sam... What if we chipped in for a Zamboni? Yeah. You know what? Uh... If your finances support that, I'd be willing to contribute as much as my finances support that. We could go in. Uh, maybe we could lease a. Maybe we could lease one. I got about forty dollars left over after Social Security. Yeah, but you know what I heard? I heard the fish sleep in the winter. You know, I mean, it's like you rent a zamboni, you rent a zamboni, and you clear all the ice out, right? Like, how big is the spot gonna be? You run this big Zamboni thing, right? And you clear out the spot, and you put the hut up, and maybe say it's 10 by 10. But some guys out there, you know, I see like they drive their snowmobile out, and they, they just dig this little thing, and they sit there, and they get snowed on, and they drop their line down, and they pull out one northern pike after another, you know? True, true. And, yeah, it'd be great if I could predict that. What do you think? I think you got a good point, saving our $40 a month. I'm wondering why. I like that eyeball right in the yeah. middle of your face there, That's man. That's your face. Oh, my. Holy cromoly. <laughs> what I have to say about that? Okay, so this 430 thing. Yeah, 430. I don't think so. My face is on your nose. No, I don't think. I don't think. There you go. There you go. I don't Perfect. think 430 is going to do it, man. Me either. What do you think? What about 530. I mean, it takes uh, it takes a minute and a half to make instant oatmeal. That's true. And, and you got to put the raisins and brown sugar in. What about those pop tarts? The three seconds. I don't have a toaster right now, so I'd have to put it in the oven, and the oven takes like five minutes to preheat. True, true. What about the directions on that? There's three steps. Should there really be three steps? To making a, to toasting a Pop-Tart? Sure is. Three steps. Three steps. Well, that's like when I was in the Army, you know. We had a cookbook, and I was a cook in the Army, and they had, like, directions on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, my goodness. So it's kind of reminds me of this stupid thing about Pop-Tarts. Mm -hmm. Like, it takes three steps to toast a Pop-Tart. What would they be? One would be well, open package. One would be open the package. I could think of probably more than three. Really? Go ahead. Well, well, you open the package, and then you read the directions, or you do that in reverse, right? Mm -hmm. So that's two. You got to read the directions, open the package. But and, the but the three and, points are the directions. Well, that's a, that's a little redundant. Okay, but if you don't read the directions, you're going to screw it up. It's like putting a dollhouse together for your for your little girl. Mm -hmm. And you miss step two, and you're on 45, mm -hmm. and you go to, got to go back to 45. So if you don't read the directions, that's a step. You have to read the directions. You got to read. The or directions. you're going to be totally screwed. You're going to you're going to burn the pop tart. That's right. Like putting up a fan. You are. You're going to burn it. I mean, you can be lucky, I suppose. 
and like guess, but you know, I I, I just don't want to guess. That's true. I, I, so that's, that's true. two steps, right? True. That's two steps. Open package. No. Oh, read, read the, the directions, directions first, first, and then open the package. Open the package. And comes then, second. and then, you put it in the toaster. That's three, three steps. Okay. Then the fourth step is deciding which setting you want it on. Oh. Now it doesn't tell you that in the directions, so that's. Are we up to four yet, four or five? Four. I think four. four. You got to decide the. Uh, shade that you want the pop tart mm -hmm. to be right mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. so that's for now five you push the the actual handle down that's step five True. right and then step Active, six we we're up that, to six we could call it activate the toaster yeah oh, wait a minute you're you're rushing way ahead all right uh step six step six you wait wait and you stand there and worry right and you worry if the setting was the right setting, mm. right? Overly and you worrying. worry, if you're a worrier, if you're not a worrier, you go into the bathroom and brush your teeth and come back out and take it out. But if you're a worrier, mm. you stand there mm. and you look down in the toaster to see how the frosting is melting and how the other side from the frosting is like, you do, you just do that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you wait and I, that's a lot of steps I threw in all in one, like, part of it. And then you wait, and it pops up. Mm -hmm. I'm, so not you I'm not so even going to count that step at to popping listen, up. Listen. Yeah. You have to, li well, you have to listen. Well, you have to listen, if especially you're if you're in a different wor wor uh, world. Yeah, world, Drew. That's right. But room. Your hand um, right here is making your mustache go onto my nose on the other side. There you go. See? Well, you know what they say about modern tech. But, um, so then it comes out of the toaster. We're up to step nine. Nine. And you have to, if you're a butter fan, you have to butter the other side of the frosting. Butter? I've never heard Absolutely. of Absolutely. Step ten, you put it on the little saucer that you have uh, organized. It could be a paper plate or china. Paper towel. And then you sit down and you get a knife and fork out of the cabinet. There's 10 or 11 at least. And then you eat it. There's 12 steps. It's like being an alcoholic. You know, you, there, it's a 12-step program mm -hmm. to make a Pop-Tart. 12 steps, man. So that's, I mean... And then you have to eat them. That's 13. 13 yeah, steps. you can't count that, though. All right. It's you all, might, it's all about it. making it. Not but it, consuming but it. But if you screwed up the other 12 steps, right, right. 13 doesn't even matter, the eating part. Mm -hmm. So you have to leave 13 off just in case you screwed up on one of the other steps. Good point. All right. All right. Until so, the next episode of... Sal Rosenberg and Hingatelli. Hingatelli.